Hey Tyler, um, you've probably seen this summer, Craig and I have been doing a lot of adventures and I've been sleeping a lot in this uh, 4Runner and um, it's it's been wonderful but it's also been really uncomfortable and so Thermarest sent us some products to try to make my camping experience in this car a little more palatable and so we uh, got the uh, Thermarest Mondo King 3D self-inflating, we uh, got their um, Questar see here 20 degree bag and a pillow um, really if you know me literally I just throw down a blanket in the back of here so the contrast is pretty big it, it, <laughs> but um, my wife uh, was pretty excited to try this out we just got back from a 10-day trip down to Moab Grand Canyon Zion and have really been enjoying and testing out these products and uh, this pad is a game changer if you are car camping. Um, certainly not backpacking or anything like that, but if you are car camping, it is self-inflating, um, and when it is fully inflated, it's really nice. Um, a few times after using it, um, it is not as much self-inflating, um, and you have to get a little manual on it and, and use your mouth and uh, go ahead and fill it up the rest of the way. Even now, just for this, We've tried to fill it up, just uh, you know, let it do the self-inflating and it's not doing as much. So still, I'd, I'd keep it in my arsenal for car camping. One bit of advice is when it's fully inflated, um, it is much thicker and you're right here. Um, and the drop into the rest of the vehicle is a little bit noticeable. So you really are gonna sleep on what you sleep. If I could make one change, um, I slept in the back of a truck um, a couple times and in the back of this. I'd want to go the full way and I'd want to be able to customize it to the width of the vehicle. Um, so, uh, I mean, if I'm going to go plush, I want to go all the way. Um, and then be able to roll it back up so that I don't have to use that the whole time. It rolls up to this one, rolls up to about this. And it's pretty, pretty good um, and about that wide. Um, so I, I liked it. The sleeping bag uh, was really wonderful. It says down to 20 degrees. It's a Nikwax uh, hydroponic um, down, 600 fill. Uh, man, a lot warmer, a lot warmer. I was sweating in this thing, which is good. I mean, because now I'm gonna go down to 10 or zero degrees. It has the attachable parts so that you can put it, connect it to your uh, thermopad or your rest. Um, I don't like that, I like to move around. And it also can connect and give a little bit more room. So if you want to get like, I like to get Craig in my sleeping bag sometimes, um, it, you can get creative and get from there. Um, and then the last is, I <laughs> I usually for a pillow, I just use my arm or I throw my down on top of my arm, uh, roll my down up. This was sweet. To be honest, I probably wouldn't, if I were gonna buy a product, this one would not be the one I would buy. I would definitely buy these two. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't spend my money on a pillow. I just get one of my uh, stuff sacks, throw my down in there, and this was better. It's definitely a lot thicker, um, and it will compress down really nicely, and then puff back up. But uh, for me, this just wasn't worth the investment. But it is really nice, and Craig is going to steal this after this video and take it home and use it as his main pillow in his house. Maybe. So, um, anyway. Uh, what's your ideal camping setup, car camping, or even in the car camping? What's your ideal setup? Let us know.